Hey everyone out here and welcome back to a new Sims 4 video on the channel and today it's a special one because I'm gonna tour and present to you the top 5 creations submitted by you to my latest decor challenge in which I made a rundown retail shop and you had to fix it and create your own beautiful shop. It wasn't an easy task for me because all creations were super amazing and I was amazed by how talented the community is. I want to say thank you all for participating in the challenge and congratulations to the top 5 creations creators. And definitely go check them out, all info in the description down below. I hope you're gonna enjoy it and without further ado, let's start with number 5. In number 5 we have Baker's Saloon by Simbeth the best? I don't know. Wait a minute. Sim? Is Kim? Is Sim? Is that you? Is that you, you cheeky little one? You are. It's, it's you, I guess. Anyway, uh, that's the name. And um, let's see. My build for Architect RG the Quartal number two. Baker Saloon came. Uh, come get the best baked goods in town, y'all. Y'all. <laughs> The owner Honey Dijon, Honey Dijon, love that name, transformed this lot into a western dream where she sells her wedding cakes and other yummy delicious treats. Rooftop garden for ingredients only the fresh uh, and only the freshest. Uh, stop by today, created by and all the hashtags. And okay, let's get it. So show me the transformation. Now look at that, is that a beauty or what? Now uh, if I haven't said that, every build do get for itself one strike where you can, um, let's say, um, not follow the rules or you can break the rules. You can only get one strike. So anyway, let's get to it and first of all you cannot just not love that. Look at that beautiful uh, uh, sign over here created with uh, many lights. Look at that, that is a lot of lights. And we have over here, look at this, oh that is so cute, tiny deeds people, tiny deeds, remember that? <laughs> tiny deeds. Um, that is beautiful way of, of creating a parking spot I guess for, for bicycles, I love that. So we have a tr the tree over here which I said that you can change it, you cannot remove it, so that's nicely done over here. I see that you didn't touch the... Um, uh, um, the, the residential um, lot over here, so uh, that's that's actually great. But I see there is your first strike over here that you did change the pattern of the garage. You weren't supposed to touch the garage, that was one of the rules. Um, so one strike and I do hope you don't have any more. But I really love that you actually created that as a loading dock, I guess, loading space for, for, the, uh, for the vans. Before we go inside, let's check the upper floor. Which I never said that you cannot, um, cannot utilize and I really love the fact that you take advantage of that space and you created a garden for the fresh ingredients, right? For the, uh, for the bakeries or pastries. So that is really nicely done, really neat. Let's go inside. Ooh, look at this. That is beautiful. Wait a minute, what is that? What is that? Wait a minute, okay. Is that... <laughs> Is that because of the COVID-19 thing? Is that how the brain of our people just messed up with, with the, the, that era? Okay, <laughs> I love that. That is a tiny deed. <laughs> love that. And look at that. The thing that is just really beautiful is the fact that she created um, those uh, display... Yeah, those are display uh, tables, right? Yeah, they are. And I believe, I do believe that those are the new frames from the the core to the max around it, right? I believe um, Kate Emerald was the first one to show some ideas with with that, and she created a lot of great things. I love the fact that you you did it over here. It it looks great. I do remember that I said that you can create. Um, retail stores that are not functional just in order to remove the uh, creativity blocks so that is that is loud that is not a strike people and um look at oh i love that coffee area over here i just love how everything here is organized and uh, if you do want to create it just a bit more realistic uh take take one of them down like one of them in the middle you know no one really takes the 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 most right or left someone will just grab the thing that is most uh, close to you, right? But I just love it. It's so neat over here. So we have that. 
Do we have other things? So some sitting areas over here. What's what's going on over here? Um, I guess this is the way to. Yeah, that's the way out. So over here, that's the. Okay, that that's how it looks if you are the owner and you are selling the stuff. Really beautiful uh, work, gotta say. Wait a minute. Uh, am, I, am I missing something? Oh, we have a toilet over here. Tiny toilet going down. Because I said that you can utilize the um, like a basement level and create something with it. I did ask not to go overboard with it and, and go all the size of the lot um, as a basement, but I see that it's not that um, like it's not all of the size of the of the lot, so it's it's okay. It's not a strike. Beautiful, um, beautiful work actually. You you scaled it down. <laughs> Originally, this is supposed to be much bigger. Okay, if it's functional, that's awesome. Um, I, I think actually that the whole build is functional. Uh, and we have a really beautiful big uh, way of, of work over here, way of work, or space of working over here. Another another uh, storage unit that you custom made, beautiful. I think, are those the shelves from um, Home decor, right? It is, I think, it's it's, it's that. We have a wine uh, tiny room over here, beautiful. And, um, oh, that's an office, right? That's that's like the office for um, for ordering the thing that you want. Actually, that is beautiful. I wonder if there were some, I don't know, pictures over here? Oh, and you have those uh, toppings over here. Beautiful. So that's like a display for the toppings. I really love it. Really, really love it. And yeah, that is, Quite a beautiful work, I gotta say. That's beautiful. So that was number five. Give much love to uh, to Sim, right? Sim, I think that's the <laughs> that's how you uh, say it. Go follow and go download and play it if, if you want. And now let's go to number four. In number four, we have the flower pot shop. So it was made by October Lifeguard. And let's see the description. We do have. Um, an abundant grocery store, okay, that's mine. Welcome to the flower path. This flower shop is like no other. It specializes in higher level of unique flowers and the secret, ooh, secret, we love secrets. Um, well, the secret is the fertilizer that they use, all homegrown and just as unique as the Sims who buy from, uh, buy from here. Nothing special, <laughs> nothing suspicious. Nothing in the basement. Okay, okay. Let's see. Show me the transformation. And look at this. And I gotta tell you that I didn't know that with Nifty Knitting you can create letters. What the? What the? <laughs> that is so so smart. But anyway, first of all, let's let's have a look at the, at the overall design and look at that. That is beautiful. You didn't touch the garage, which is awesome, a point for you, and you didn't touch the um, the residential a lot. Beautiful. The we do have the tree in front, and you just added a lot of flowers, which I kind of dig in the idea. Dig in the idea. Beautiful. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. <laughs> is that sign like people with dogs are welcome or not? Because th there is one that yeah, that people are not welcome. So are you welcoming? You do know that the dogs will pee all over your, uh, your your place over here, right? First of all, the sign. Come on, look at that. I asked you people to create a unique sign. This is a really awesome way to create a sign. I love that. Now, what do we have over here? We do have. Oh, so we have um, another place to, I guess, uh, garden or gardening. Create your own uh, your own uh, design for oh that is that is like a mushroom so oh unicorn poop unicorn poop people love that <laughs> and those are like custom made beautiful beautiful done I, I guess that you cannot use those but that's okay because remember I, I said that you don't have to use them um, the shops can be non-functional so at the back we don't have much to see just some stuff but let's go and check out the inside. So going inside over here, ooh, we do have a lot of green, which is really nice, beautiful. I see that you kept the vent, which is a really, really uh, cool thing to do. Okay, th there is a, there is a um, 
secure camera here, like a security camera over here. Where is it? There we go. So something is fishy is going on here, right? I, I want to check the things out. I want to check some things. So that's like flower arrangement place. So I wonder if it, if it is usable. We don't have we don't have the um, uh, the cash register, but I guess you can create out of this something usable. Wait a minute! Someone promised me a secret. Let's look for the secret. So what's going on over here? So that's a um, tiny tiny stall, right? Yeah. What's going on here? <gasps> yes, secret, secret. Show me some secrets. Okay. What the? <laughs> what is going on in here? Someone, someone. Oh, first of all, I love those tiny dits that you added here. Of course, the um, the, uh, the the webs and the scratches. It's like someone scratched stuff in here. So I wonder. You know, the beauty of builds like that is that it it makes you wonder what really happened what is the back story of it so if you are watching you're more than welcome to to tell us a story in the comment section if you are uh, if you want to share with us what's going on over here because that looks like a uh, hanging stuff i don't know you know what i mean it looks like a uh, hanging stuff and, <laughs> and we do have some fossils over here a lot of tiny deets i love that i really love that so that actually made me curious what's going on in here so uh, if you are watching, feel free to, to enlighten us. Something's going on in here and it's a bit fishy. I like it. <laughs> so that is number four. And without further ado, let's go and check number three. In number three, we have Roswell Retail Shop by Suwaika. I think I said it right and I do apologize if I killed it. And the description is, is, I think it's French, maybe? I, I do not know how to read that. So I went to Google Translate and I will try to read some of it. So hoping you're gonna like it, that's what it said. Um, I wanted to create a very strange shop that hides a mysterious secret. We love secrets here, we love secrets. Something would uh, have escaped and committed a crime. It's up to you to investigate. Oh, good game. Love that, love that, and I do apologize for the broken, uh, you know, uh, translation, it's, it's Google Translate. And uh, secret, we do love secrets, and let's go check it. Show me the transformation! Now for this build, I actually went for the night time, because it just looks beautiful. So let's get a started and first of all, look how many alien stuff you got here. And I, I just I just love first of all I love that. <laughs> Someone died in here, I guess, and there's a bat. Is that the murder weapon? Is that the murder weapon? As you can see, it's a really hot spot. People are, are checking the place. And uh, you do have a strike over here, strike. Look at that sign, I just love that. The fact that you did that sign, the UFO sign without tool mode or something, that is smart, loving that. Now, uh, just let's let's play, uh, play the game for a sec, just to see that, look at that. That is beautiful. So we do have some vans uh, seeking some aliens and uh, some posters. I'm really loving the way how you uh, place all the uh, all the things uh, in, in that spot. Beautiful. Uh, and we have a crushing <laughs> a crushing UFO on on top of it. I don't know if if you had in mind the idea of the the you know as as a commercial or literally in your mind. Uh, uh, th that is a real UFO that crashed on it. You know, you know what I mean. But it is beautiful. Love the idea. So inside, you can see that a lot of people are checking the place. They are really into it. Mm. People are really seeking the uh, <laughs> the UFOs and, and and aliens. So that is a beautiful. That a lot of details. A lot of details. Look at that. Tiny dates. Tiny dates. Love the cluttering things over here. Um, wow. Gotta tell you, that is some really awesome design. Really love that. And we have a vent and we have some more cluttering stuff. That's actually a lot of items that I, I never, never really used them, but I just love the idea that you did that. Look at that, alien shop or alien, ooh, that is, a, is a creepy stuff, creepy stuff. And you said there is a secret, right? I, I'm curious about a secret. 
But I just love. Oh, oh, that's the uh, A A two D two. And uh, what's it called? That uh, thing. I'm not a big Star Wars fan, but I love what you did here. And we have some cameras on the other side. Oh, wait a minute. What's going on over here? Something's going on over here. Let's let's check it. <gasps> oh, so that's like the where, where the person is is spying around people. Maybe some of the peoples are here, like are aliens. Ooh, someone is spooked out. <laughs> See that? That's the thing. That's legit. You cannot really um, <laughs> you can't really script that. Anyway, uh, so some alien spying stuff over here, and we do have. Ooh, there we go. Let's go down. So we going down. And we have here a way to. How do you say that? Synthesize? I, I, I'm not quite sure, but you know, to clean yourself before you going inside. Oh, sweet mother. Okay, okay. So upstairs you have a the place for for the um, the tourists, and here you have the thing that you are actually doing. Huh? That is some fishy stuff. Fishy stuff. So you are planning about finding that is beautiful. So many tiny dits, tiny dits. People love that. So you can work behind the scenes over here, travel in time, find an alien. I see your brain. Your brain is is not a you're gonna capture an alien over here and then grab him and put him inside the jail that is low and I loving it <laughs> that is beautiful really love all the things you did over here that is some really cool uh, um, retail shop I wonder if you can actually play it I believe you can and you can actually do those experiments off um, like off you know on a, on, on a gig on the side. Anyway, that was number three, and let's go to number two. In number two, we have a Princess's Castle store by Jonasia. I, I hope I said it right. And uh, we have a description. Princess's Castle store invites all little and big princesses in this two-level shop. You can buy toys, clothes, and more. Parents, be prepared to spend lots of time and money here because <laughs> your kids will definitely fall in love in this shop. Can't wait to see you there. So let's see that and show me the transformation. Now look at this. Is that magical or what? Is that magical? It is. Look at that. First of all, the sign. You can see that someone spent a lot of time for uh, for creating that sign. Beautiful. I love the fact that the sign looked like a part of a castle, right? Look at that. That is so awesome. Now let's get into it and we can see the pinky vibe of it already. So if we go through here, wait a minute, do we have something on top of it? Oh, we do have. Before we go in, we do have a... I don't know, like a um, chilling area over here, maybe? You can call it chilling area. I love it that you basically just cleaned the chilling area that we had here. And you added some graffiti over here, which is really nice. The fact that they are crossing each other and, and, and like overlaying each other, that is a really dope idea. Because in real life, you know, you, you see a lot of graffitis, one on top of each other. Great thing to do. When you go inside, you are getting into a magical, beautiful place. Look at this and look at the rainbow. The rainbow and, and I honestly, I think this is a working one, right? You actually created a working uh, uh, princess's shop so people can buy uh, things over here, which is awesome. They can buy those things, they can, they can buy those seating areas, some of those Maybe not all the things, but many things here are purchasable, which is awesome. And this, look at this. I just love it. The clouds on top, the castle, the train. Is that? Yes, it is. That's that's a mouse hole, right? Those tiny puppets, the horse. Oh, that is so cool. Not quite sure how uh, <laughs> how like realistic is um, train in a castle. That's medieval. That is more like. Our era, you know what I mean? But I love it. I just love that. Now we do have the um, the, uh, the, the, the the shoppy shop. Come on, how do you call that? The cash register <laughs> uh, front desk. 
and uh, we have some puppets on over there for sale. I wonder if you can actually buy them. Over here we have a restroom, right? Oh, that that is Queen Kui. I love that. Tiny deeds, tiny deeds, people. Look at that, tiny deeds over here. That that rainbow, unicorn poop. I love that. I love that. We love we love that on the channel. You know that. By the way, if you are curious about unicorn poop, you go. You need to go and check the stream. <laughs> go down. Let's go down. Going down over. Ooh, 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 ooh. <laughs> Look at this. Tiny deeds, tiny deeds. So many objects that you can actually buy over here. I love the uh, the display of of those uh, mannequins. By the way, did you notice that I managed to download the mannequin lots in, in, on this video? So we have changing areas over here for the kids to check out some of the uh, clothing. They can buy some shoes and those boxes on the ground. I love that they are not like fully organized and, and fully centered, you know what I mean? That, that, that someone just put them over there. And over here, look at that castle from lights. That is beautiful. Love it. And the scaled down kitchen stuff. That is so cool. That is so bummer that we don't have them like in, in the game um, like and you have to scale them down, you know what I mean? Why you don't have like a kitchen toys for, for kids in game, but you know, that's a puppet show over here. Well done. And a lot of puppets. <laughs> and you have a tea party. Look at that, that is so cute. Actually, I I'm amazed by this one. Th that is so nice. The only thing that I can just give you a, a, a tiny tip, because you have so many lights over here, I, I doubted that you'd need those lights on top. And uh, I highly suggest, as you can see, those uh, mannequins are so wide that you cannot even see them. I highly suggest when you're finishing to create, uh, like when, when you finish a build, try to play a bit with the lights, maybe dim them a bit, like do that um, to this room. Like this, you can see, now you can actually see the patterns on the walls. But other than that, that looks dope. Really loving that, really well done. Thank you so much for this amazing creation. And now we going to number one, people. In number one, we have a Farm Fresh Country Store. And don't let the thumbnail uh, deceive you because that is gonna be some awesome creation. It was made by Awesome Daddy, right? Awesome Daddy, I, I hope I said it right. And we have a description. Support your community and buy local. Stop in uh, for farm, farm fresh product and locally crafted goods at the Strangerville's new country store. I cannot wait to see the transformation. Now look at this. I know, I know people, at first glance it just seems like an ordinary shop, but just wait to see what's going on inside. One of the things that I really appreciate is the fact that this person who made this actually did not do anything against the rules. There are no strikes in this build. I uh, I checked it briefly and just to see that everything is in order to uh, like like based on on the rules and everything is lined up with the rules now first of all look at that beautiful custom made sign now people remember that sign because you're gonna see it inside quite a lot this is like a brand he created a brand out of of this uh, local shop now as you can see we do have the garage over here um, no one uh, like he didn't touch it beautiful and we have the, the um, apartment on the other side. He did change the tree, which is something that I allowed, and he created a bus stop over here with some, um, like he basically created the, the whole parking lot over here. So beautiful work, really neat. I love the fact that it, it looks fresh and new. And when you go inside, you can see so many details inside that we need to explore all of them, people. Look at this. Those are baskets he made from, from uh, like screwdrivers, some um, some wooden uh, poles, right? Yeah, and, and, and some other objects that had so neat. Look at that. And over here we have some baskets for sale, I guess. 
And look, he even made, he, they, you know what, let's say they, they even made signs over here with, uh, I guess, um, the thing that, that they're selling or maybe prices. We do not really know what's, what's going on over here. Some uh, plates that you can buy and some pottery over here. Okay, those are handling placed on top of those baskets. So, so you're gonna have all the fruits that you can desire. We have strawberries and blackberries and blueberries and, and peaches and, and lemons, I guess. Oranges, apples, beautiful bananas uh, over here lined up. Um, and uh, look at that, that is so beautiful. I don't know, it just... <gasps> Those, those uh, avocados are actually <laughs> lined up inside the basket so they will not fall. That is so beautiful with some garlics and tomatoes and underneath over here. Look at that. You even have some bags, grocery bags to, 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 to take whatever you need. You have, oh, that is like, that's like a cooled area with, um, that is fresh grocery grown up stuff. You know what I mean? Uh, we, we have carrots over here and you have the mirrors people the mirrors that were Tilted so so you're gonna see the back of, of the, the, the back lines or the back rows. That is so smart and we have some lettuce and cabbages and uh, Parsley right that, that's parsley. I, I think that is so beautiful. We have some uh, flour and sugar uh, um, display units and those are dividers people those are dividers I gotta show you that those are dividers that he turned that is very smart and he even kept it just uh, like uh, there's a bit separation between them over here so it will not look like one thing that you can actually uh, move it away you have here the handle that is very smart and you have some bags with some stuff on it people I, I want you to see the tiny deeds and that is amazing. Those are basically takeaways with, um, with, you know, wall signs, right? Wall signs? Yeah, that is beautiful. And those are uh, letters from the games that he placed on a sack lunch or lunch sack. How do, how do you call that? Those are uh, grind uh, coffee with some paintings that he scaled down. That is some artwork, people. What else? What else? Oh, there we go. And you have here some uh, custom-made, uh, hand-placed, I guess, um, uh, coolers, refrigerators with eggs. You can see over there, eggs. And you have some... Um, some what, what is that? I think those are uh, cakes. Yeah, pre-made cakes. You have some orange juice, milk, all type you need. And you have boxes with, as you can see, I gotta show you that. Okay, you can see that. And inside, okay, those are vents, let's face it. Those are vents for the refrigerator. And those are boxes. I, okay, I gotta take that thing down to show you that. Those are boxes with custom-made signs. Look at that. That is beautiful. And they are not perfectly in line. That, that, is, that is thinking outside of the box. I just love that. And over here, people, look at that. Candies inside of those oh sweet lord you even have those uh spoons to grab what you need with those um bags over here that is so beautiful candies made out of those um uh, nifty kneading bowls you know what i mean some chocolates and some candies and this people those tray trays trays tray fives i want to say <laughs> those um those pies in those glassy box with, do you remember the custom-made sign? That's the custom-made sign. That is so beautiful, look at that. Look at that. He took this and he scaled it and rotated it. Basically, this is supposed to be on the, on the wall. And now you have a custom-made uh, boxes for your really amazing pies exclusive pies you don't need to worry in, in case of you want to sell them because many of them are just display one right but over here you do have a fridge with display pies that you just need to recreate and place them over here you know what i mean very smart very very smart love it love it and over here you have jams people jams you have all type of jams that you can even think of and you can sell them i guess Beautiful that just looks so beautiful and over here you can see that even on the counter 
over here down downstairs downstairs or down here you can find some ingredients like vanilla stuff that right that that's like vanilla i think vanilla sticks some coffee a menu some tea that you can buy and a register that you can sell the stuff coins people that is tiny deeds oh sweet lord over here we have we have some um bags that you can um basically create those bags over here right and we have some scissors <laughs> that is so many tiny deeds i love that Okay, oh definitely, you now can understand why this is a number one and the winner of our challenge. The amount of tiny deeds that we have here, maybe I'm missing some, um, maybe I'm missing, maybe just myself, uh, some, uh, some curtains maybe, but overall, beautiful design, let's just look at that from here. Look at this, that is so detailed beautiful maybe we do have no we don't yeah maybe some uh, maybe some curtains are missing but anyway other than that that is just a beautiful do we have a second floor no we don't have um, but yeah we do have here a, a, a bathroom like like a restroom for for the visitors also really nice with some tiny deets on it and that's it those were the top five creations submitted by you guys thank you so much for watching go spread some love with the creators and if you want to check some other of my content make sure to hit the like button and press that next video on the screen right now until the next time keep that scene party going for me rg tech is signing off